The Holy Tales. Let's get on with the story and find out. Yay! It's story time! Long time ago, Jesus sent his 12 disciples into the country with the Holy Spirit to heal sick people and tell everyone about God's love. What is the Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit is the power from God to heal people. Oh, wow! That's the greatest power of all! When the disciples returned, they met Jesus. They were all very excited to narrate their stories to him about how they healed people and what all they talked about with them and many more. However, thousands and thousands of people followed the disciples to meet with Jesus and see him with their own eyes perform miracles which they had all heard about. But Jesus knew that the disciples wanted to sit with him alone. So he said, Come with me. We shall find some quiet place to talk and get some food and rest. So Jesus and his twelve disciples found a boat and went to a quiet place to talk amongst themselves. But many people saw them leaving and ran following them on land. The wind that day was quite slow, which in turn slowed down the boat Jesus and his disciples were in. And so, the people who were running following them reached the other side of the river much before the boat could reach. The people were waiting on the shore for them to arrive. When the boat reached the shore, Jesus saw the huge crowd and his heart was filled with love for them. He realized that these people had come all the way to meet him only to find a teacher and someone they could believe in. Jesus knew that the disciples would understand, so he started teaching the crowd. It was getting late in the day and the people were growing hungry. None of them had had food since morning. The disciples came to Jesus and said, These people are hungry. It's quite late. Let's send back these people so that they can get some food in the neighboring towns. But Jesus had other plans. He said, Do not send them away. You give them something to eat. The disciples were confused. They did not quite understand what Jesus was trying to say. How can we feed so many people? There's no food around. While the disciples were talking to Jesus, one of the disciples, named Andrew, saw a small boy walking down with a lunch box. He stopped the boy and asked him what food he had with him. He ran back to Jesus and his fellow disciples and said, This boy has some food with him. He has two fish and five small loaves of bread. But that will never be enough for such a huge crowd. Jesus just smiled and said, Ask everyone to sit. The entire crowd all five thousand of them sat on the ground. Jesus took the loaves of bread from the boy and thanked God for them. He then ordered his disciples to pass around the bread among the people and they could take as much as they wanted. He did the same with the two fish the boy had. After everyone was full, Jesus asked the disciples to gather all the leftover food. The disciples did what they were asked to do, and after gathering all the extra food, the disciples counted they had twelve baskets full of fish and loaves of bread. And that was a miracle! The 
people saw the miracle they wanted to see to believe in Jesus. Wow! That wasn't a miracle. That was magic. That was a wonderful story. Well, I am glad you kids loved it. I love this particular story too. Okay, Holy. We'll be back again to hear another story from you. So, be ready with one. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Tubby. I am always ready with wonderful stories. The Holy Tales Today, I am going to tell you the story of Bartholomew. But, tell you what? <laughs> it is Bartholomew. Oh, Bartholomew. Now I get it. Then let's not waste any more time and begin with his story. Bartholomew Nathaniel was another one of the twelve disciples of Jesus. And he was the son of Talmai, who lived in Cana of Galilee. Like the other twelve disciples of Jesus, he too had an apostolic symbol. And his is the symbol of three parallel knives. Bartholomew was a missionary from Armenia. And he was one of the twelve disciples who came from royal or noble blood. His father was Talmai the king of Geshur, whose daughter was the wife of David and the mother of Absalom. Bartholomew was probably not his first name, but his second. His first name is considered to be Nathaniel, and Jesus often referred to him as the Israelite in whom there is no guile. Bartholomew was a great researcher of the scripture. And he was also a great scholar of law. He became a huge follower of Jesus and soon completely surrendered his life to Jesus and was one of the most adventurous missionaries. Bartholomew went all around the world, preaching with Philip in places like Phrygia, Hierapolis, and also in Armenia. He established the Armenian churches and died a martyr. Bartholomew died as a martyr for his Lord as he was flayed alive with knives. Many scholars say that he probably died in India when he went to preach there. I do not like those bad men who killed the twelve disciples of Jesus. All right, Freckles, all right. Don't get angry. Did you not like the story? Of course I did, but... Let's not think about all that. I hope you enjoyed the story too, as much as these kids did. The Holy Tales Hello, kids. I was waiting for you all to come. All right, then. Let's not waste any more time. Who are we listening about today? Um, today I'll tell you the story of Peter. Peter? The one who denied Jesus? Yes, come on, let's hear his story. Simon Peter was the son of Jonas, the fisherman. He lived in Bethsaida and Capernaum and grew up to become a fisherman just like his father. He is known for doing massive missionary work and for going as far as Babylon to spread Jesus' words to the people. In the latter years of his life, he also wrote down two epistles of the New Testament. In all apostolic lists all over the world, Peter's name is mentioned first. However, he had many different names in other languages also. Peter's Greek name was Simon, and his Hebrew name was Cephas, which both meant rock. Peter lived in Capernaum with his wife, and every time Jesus went there, he would make Peter's home his headquarters. Peter was a Galilean too, like almost all the other disciples of Jesus. 
Among the twelve disciples, Peter was the leader. He was known to be the spokesman for all the twelve apostles. Peter always asked the most difficult and challenging questions to Jesus. It was Peter who asked how often one must forgive. He also wanted to know about the rewards of following Jesus. He was the one who confessed and declared that Jesus was the Son of the Living God. Yet it was he who denied Jesus before a maiden. Peter had many faults, but his saving grace was his loving heart. When it was decided that Peter was to be martyred on a cross, he requested to be crucified with his head downward, as he believed he was not worthy of dying the same way as his Lord had died. And hence, his apostolic symbol is a cross upside down with crossed keys. So, did you enjoy the story? Yes, we did. It was a nice story indeed. Great. Now off you go, children. It's nap time. The Holy Tales. Today I'm going to tell you the story about Jesus' last and final disciple, Thomas Didymus. Did he... us? It's Thomas Didymus, Tubby. Thomas Didymus was one of the lesser known disciples of Jesus. He lived in Galilee and went to preach Jesus' words in Parthia, Persia and India and probably received death as a martyr near Madras at Mount St. Thomas in India. Thomas was his Hebrew name and Didymus his Greek name. At times he was also called Judas. The Bible does not tell us much about Thomas except his name. However, John in his Gospel defines him more clearly as being present in the raising of Lazarus in the upper room. He wanted to see nail prints in Jesus' hand and also the spear scar in his side to believe in him. Soon he was known as the Doubting Thomas. Thomas had a bewildered and confused mind and yet he was brave and courageous. Since he was a pessimistic man, he believed only in things which he could see. However, he had immense faith and was a devoted man. When Jesus rose from death, he came and invited Thomas to put his finger in the nail prints in his hand and in his side. It is here we see Thomas making the greatest confession of faith. And Thomas's doubts transformed into faith. In India, Thomas was commissioned to build a palace for the king of India, where he was martyred to death with a spear for his lord. His apostolic sign is a bunch of spears, stones and arrows. So, did you like the story? Oh yes, it was wonderful. We loved it. I hope you enjoyed the story as much as these kids did. We'll be back soon, so stay tuned. To watch more videos, please subscribe. Hidden plants and trees. On the fourth day, God created the sun to shine in the day the moon and stars to come out at night. One day, Moses went to Mount Horeb with his sheep. There, God appeared to him as a flame of fire in a bush. Since there was no room anywhere else, they decided to spend the night in a stable. Here, Mary had her baby, Jesus. She wrapped him in a blanket and put him to sleep. He's got the Lord.